Welcome to the Muggy Media Brings James Brown in the Farm Show. Now. Like, yeah, you were saying last time, like, even when they weren't long, they felt long. They felt long. And again, I love these movies, but, like, I mean, it's almost like, yeah, it's almost like I love them in the abstract. <laughs> like, if you try to sit me down with too many of them, I'm gonna go crazy. My friend and I, when we were in grade school, uh, there used to be a rental store. There used to be a rental store everywhere. All right, but there used to be one. <laughs> you should be a rental store. <laughs> You sound like Sean Connery when you do that voice. <laughs> oh, here we go. Whee! This used works in real life. <laughs> used to be able to rent the town carriage. Um, <laughs> but we would every weekend, for like a few months, rent two two Bond movies. Oh, man. And like, he'd always stay over my house. And, and we'd watch him. What? We'd <laughs> and we would just watch, you know, Bond movies that way. And I think The Man with the Golden Gun is one of my favorites because it feels like it's an hour and a half movie. <laughs> and I know it's not the greatest movie in the world. Oh, uh, you didn't like that scene where they did a like, little flip around a bridge with the redneck and the slide whistle? <laughs> they didn't like... That sounds so dirty when you describe it that way. You know, the bridge with the redneck and the slide I'm whistle. I'm going to have to hear that back because I can't imagine. Well, all right. In anyway. And a Vicks vapor rope. <laughs> <laughs> some WD-40 and uh, some whipped creams. Oh, my God. Can you imagine if Robert Shaw was alive still to, be, to do a voice in this game? Robert Shaw he'd, he'd so never, awesome. He'd never make it. No. <laughs> yeah. That guy enjoyed yeah. his whiskey. Yeah. Bernard Lee. <gasps> we can hear it. Where is it? Come on. Who are we looking for? I th you know who we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! There we go. Yeah, proud forehead. Yeah. That was amazing. Remember back in the 60s when twerking was classy in Russia? I know. When you put like put a bunch of arcade quarters, coins on you. Put some quarters on your butt and... Oh yeah, they added like two new Manudo, characters. You know, who was not even born when the movie came out. Of yeah, <laughs> Natasha Bedingfield. Why is that name familiar? I don't know. She was in that mission we just did, and she's never seen again. Moose and Squirrel. Yeah. She's like put in the credits post credit credit credit. Yeah. So we're playing from Russia with Love. Is the end. Oh, I thought we were watching somebody else play it. <laughs> That's all right. If somebody's playing it. That's all that matters. <laughs> uh, See, so yeah, I took too long. I didn't do it difficult enough. That's fine. I want to say <laughs> it just discourages yeah. you right in the beginning. <laughs> wow, agent, huh? Wow, wow. It's <laughs> no double O agent. Yeah. Uh, so let's see here. Can let's, I get anything? let's start. Let's start yeah. talking uh, Bond movies. Right. I'm gonna say that For Much With Love is actually my favorite Bond movie. So I was pretty stoked when this game came out. Do you remember was... in the timeline or you know when they were released? What number? This is the second one, right? That is correct. Doctor No, then this, then Goldfinger, live. Thunderball, You Only Live Twice, uh, Diamonds, Ooh. Nope, On Her Majesty's Secret yeah. Service, then Diamonds, oh, god damn it. Yeah, then Diamonds. I wish I weren't this, this good at this. <laughs> um, man with the, uh, Live and Let Die, yeah. with the Golden Gun, Spy Who Loved Me, Moon Ranker, um, they were getting Octopussy. Uh, no one before that. Oh, um, after Moon Ranker? Uh, yep. Yeah. Before Octopussy. Yeah. Um, hmm. Eight cats, octopusy. Uh, for your eyes only. Oh right, they for had British eyes only. <laughs> and then, uh, Mr. <laughs> and there, were <laughs> there were three more in the eighties. Uh, which Donald Roger? Oh, uh, View to a Kill. Yep. Um, then we go into Tim Dalton, which means Living Daylights. Yep. And License to Kill. Yeah. Why do they have Kill in like two out of three titles? No. Um, and then we're in the 90s, which are? Uh, Goldeneye. Yep. Uh, Tomorrow Never Dies. Yep. Um, but their fan base does. Uh, <laughs> the World Is Not Enough. Correct. Die Another Day. Or Correct. The Day You Watch That Move Because It's Terrible. <laughs> oh, um, God, yeah. Not good. <sighs> Casino Royale, Quantum of Solace, Skyfall, Spectre? Yes. Very nice. I'm not the only one that get that uh, gave you any trouble was uh, the British eyes only, which I'm going to keep calling it. <laughs> the one that had like only. it was had a Greek woman. That's all I remember. This one oh was like Topol was in that. Hmm. You know who Topol is? Topol. He's Tevia, the, the fiddler on the roof. He was in that. He was in that. Did he? He played Milos Milos Colombo. Is he the bad guy? Uh, is he the guy that Seinfeld played tennis against? Uh, he was like, another point for me, loss. Oh, no. He <laughs> Anyone? Uh, GMB Seinfeld. Uh, <laughs> for a former smuggling partner of Christos. Christos. Chris can't say it. Greeky McGreekington. He, oh, he assists he's, Bond. He's what? He assists Bond. Uh. That we, 
I thought you said like cis bond, like he's like born identified as bond. I have a cold, damn it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I am checking these out because like I'm not gonna remember all these. No. Who is the villain in Pure Eyes Only? I have no idea. Just I remember he like killed some. Oh, Julian parents. Glover. The only thing I remember with that movie he's is the bad that guy in uh, Last Crusade. Really? Yeah. Wait, which bad guy? The Donovan. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, not Last Crusade. Yeah, that was um, Last Crusade. That was Last Crusade. Yeah. Because I'm thinking, yeah. It's Sean Connery, where he sounds like the way he looks, unlike this game. Oh, weird, already. yeah. Sean Connery, but he wasn't the Bond for that movie. Yeah. I do love the third, Indiana Jones. I like it, too. With him in there. It's the first one I actually saw, so I might be a little biased. Like, you know how you'll, you'll yeah. like the first or whatever you say? I think that was my experience, too, actually. Yeah. Saw it on TBS or something. Indiana's the dog's name. <laughs> Henry Jones Jr. <laughs> Yeah, they re- he really ate Sean Connery it up in that movie. With, with voice. <laughs> Just oh, be yourself, you. Sean. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> was that him, or was that just like you saying that? I, I All right, Sean, you're going to move. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know anymore. <laughs> Sneak up on him. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he moving like Dunk. that? It's not like... Yeah, I'm still thing. <laughs> There's definitely something absurd about the James Bond universe, but we all knew that anyway. I mean, and Octopussy for crying out loud. Yeah, and there was like a whole backstory to it, too. There was? Like, why she called herself Octopussy or why she had an Octopussy. I don't even know. <laughs> I could never follow that movie. I've seen that movie twice, and I still have no idea what happens in it. How'd you get that name? Funny story. I was working for the Red Cross. And <laughs> never mind. <laughs> There are some things I just don't want to know. You think it's funny? I don't think I'll get sick of that ever. <laughs> Do you think it's funny that we've gotten this far and we've not mentioned Austin Powers once? Yes. Which is... Next question. Yeah. We'll come back to it. <laughs> hey, let's retread that joke about saying nuts if the, if, and boobs. If this were a Roger Moore movie, and it was all 70s and whatever, like, didn't they have like the whole like funky guitar sounds in Live and Let Die and... Oh, yeah. Paul, Mc- Paul McCartney doing the song. Yeah, like... Who did Moonraker? I think Shirley Bassey did. Really? Yeah. Moonraker. No, she didn't do that. Yeah, she did do that. I mean, she probably didn't say it. That's like pretty that. damn close, actually, from what I remember. <laughs> you just say anything and, like, have her say it that way. I think that's how she talks. You know, it's just, <laughs> just her Welsh accent. Riboflavin. <laughs> uh, Moonraker, let's see. Milk, eggs, butter. <laughs> It's like the, shop. the dancing uh, shopping list. You ever seen that video? The what? The Glenn Danzig shopping list. No. You know Danzig? No. Uh, he sings the song, Mother. But it's like, can it be? It's like, <laughs> no, it's like uh, box of salty. <laughs> can it be salty? Uh, it, it sounds just like him. Jumpsuit jerks with their balaclavas. Ah, uh, Richard Keel. Sorry, I'm looking at... Uh, what did you say about baklava? Oh, these guys are... are, are or balaclavas, yeah. Balak- 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 Why am I not finding the song for Moonraker? Uh, mm. Because... <laughs> no one likes that movie. This I get it. Me in space. That movie was so absurd that it was entertaining to me. And you're right, it was Shirley, Shirley Bassey again. Yeah, um, I... I I don't know why I have so much trivial knowledge of this franchise. Oh my God. Kate which Bush? Is, which is what I said in the Simpsons episodes, too. But yeah. Like, <laughs> next time we got to play a game I don't know anything about, so I don't sound like such a knight. <laughs> it has to be another licensed game. It doesn't have to be. I mean, it can be. It just would help to be like, I don't know anything about this. Like, wow, you're surprising me with knowledge. <laughs> Something that neither of us know about. That'll be exciting to listen to. Yeah. This is getting boring. Just, just. There we go. Did you say this game was good? Whee! What? <laughs> Did you say this game was good at all? Um, I remember liking it when I was 15, <laughs> when it came out. I mean, it's, it's no GoldenEye. Even though looking back on GoldenEye, well, I didn't it was like cardboard cutouts, <laughs> but I still love that game. No proximity mines in this? What's going on? I didn't play GoldenEye until 2004. A little late to the party, yeah. A little so I late. See that. So this had almost come out already yeah. at that point. Yeah, my first Bond game was um, 
everything or nothing, which was actually, I remember it being good. Because, I mean, it's kind of like I said for The Simpsons. They went all out. They got, like, the original voice cast. Yeah. They got, like, John Cleese and Judi Dench and oh, really? Chris Brosnan. What, was that a new adventure just for the game? All, yeah. All uh, it was, like, an original story they did. Oh, wow. Uh, the, the bad guy was um, Willem Dafoe. Oh, nice. Heidi, was Klum. Heidi Klum was there for some reason. <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> okay, yeah, we know a reason. <laughs> but it doesn't feel like that reason because it was, you know, kind Either. of good but not GameCube graphics. Right. <laughs>